Hey there everybody, Brian here with Webchair Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. Uh, today's video we have an unboxing for you. As you can see, I have not shaved uh, in a few days. In fact, it's been a week. So my last shave, uh, not only was my last video that I posted on 4th of July with Strike Gold Shaved Grant, which is a fantastic scent by the way, um, but it was also my last shave period. So we just got back. Uh, we actually got back Friday from our trip to LA. So we went down to LA to visit my grandmother and my sister and brother-in-law. And um, it was my grandma's 95th birthday on July 5th. So we drove down the Friday before and we drove down in two days and we stayed in Sacramento. And then uh, on Saturday, we got into my sister's house in the LA area and then spent a few days there and um, had a good time. So the first box here came to me um, from 345 Soap. This is actually hometown. So I actually had every intention of shaving uh, a few times while I was on vacation. Uh, not only just shaving, but shaving and doing a video. So I had this sent to me at my grandma's house because I am part of 345's uh, subscription service. So when their, their scents for the month come out, they come out to the subscription members early. So if you haven't checked that out, it's on their website. Um, it does give you like a small discount and you do get yours mailed out to you before it's available to the general public. Um, so nice little note from John. Uh, Brian, how are you? Hope you're having a great summer so far. John, pretty good. Had a nice little vacation. So 95. So we celebrated my grandma's 95th at my mom's house. And then we celebrated uh, down at her house. And it's pretty cool. One of her friends, she lives in a pretty big golf course community down there. Um, they're all individual homes, so she still lives independently, which is great. Um, and so there's like 1,500 homes in the community. And so um, one of her friends got together and on Wednesday night, uh, they threw her a party. So there was like 30 people there. So it was really cool. All right, so here we go. Hometown from 345. And that is the matching splash. And let's see what we got here. This is, um, yeah, the scent notes are not on here, but we've got side label, hometown. And then uh, we've got the hometown with the 345 up in the water tower there. So this is like a peach. I know it has some peach and some patchouli. Uh, it is quite a dark soap. So I'm guessing some vanilla in there maybe. That's an interesting scent. It's good. I think I like, I mean, I get a little bit of the peach. I don't really get the patchouli, which is great for me. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. I'll have to get that lathered up, but I think that's going to be a nice scent. Um, so looking forward to using that. So thanks, John, for making the effort to send it to me down there. I had every intention of shaving it with it, with it while I was down there, but I just didn't get to it. Um, all right, so this is... Um, came to me from the Shaving Shop Club. So this showed up Friday, so a pretty good timing because we got home late Friday night. We ended up driving the whole thing in one shot on Friday, um, which was a long, long, long drive. So we were gonna stay and then we just kept going. The kids were doing really good. So we just kept driving. So it's about a 15, 16 hour drive. Can't remember what it was. We left at about 8:45 in the morning. We got home about 1:30. Um, the kids did great. They were they were troopers, but as not an easy trip to make with two small kids. But we did it. All right. So we have got the legend Pedro Fiasco in K2. So those of you that are new to the channel, I've only been wet shaving and in this artisan community for just over a year. So a lot of these scents I know are not new to some people, but they are new to me. Uh, and they are obviously being released in the new Kaizen 2 version. And I got my low battery there. I uh, hope that doesn't mess up my video. Um, but uh, so, I don't, again, no scent notes to this, but this is exclusive to club members. What am I getting out of that? It smells good. I'm not sure what I'm getting out of that. Hmm. All right, we'll have to get this one lathered up. I think it smells good. I get like it, I don't know, I get it like a little spearmint out of it, I don't know. Mm. Okay, so there's Pedro Fiasco. 
We also got Grecian Horse, which is in the K2E with Emu oil. And let's see. That one smells real nice. You get like a little. Hmm. I don't know what's in that one either. A little maybe cherry leathery something. All right. I also picked up Undersea. Now I had a sample of Undersea from my buddy Ernie and uh, I just hadn't picked it up and I saw Peter released a new um, mock-up of a label. He's changing the label on this and I actually like this label. I know this label got some flack for its abstractness, I think, but I think it's pretty cool. So I wanted to pick this up actually before the new label came out, which so the new label looks really cool, uh, but uh, that's just, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's just a fantastic, fantastic scent. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I got the matching splashes with all these. So they are in here. So I'm not gonna bust those out in the mail call. And then I, 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 I got a little impatient and um, on this. So this one also came from the Shaving Shop Club but got shipped separately. I tried to put it all together, but as you know, that's not always possible to do. Um, especially now, A and E is much bigger than they were before. So um, I tried, but that's all right, my fault. So I have to pay, pay separate shipping on this one, but it shipped out at the same time. So this is then the Kingdom in K2. So I don't have a lot of Ariana and Evans um, prior to recently. So kind of building up that collection. Uh, you definitely can't go wrong with the Kaizen or Kaizen 2 bases. Oh, that one's nice. That smells good. So I also have a couple more on order. So they are on their way and they should arrive in a couple of days. I picked up the Lather and Blade Group's Vita and then I also picked up um, another another one. But I think if I had to rank these just off the top, I would say Undersea would be one. This would be two. And this is off the puck, not lathered up. Hmm. Might have to say Grecian Horse three, and then probably Pedro four. But you can't judge a book by its cover, so you gotta get those lathered up, get them on your face. Oftentimes, I find that once I get them on my face, with your chemistry, natural chemistry, and everything, the scent kind of changes or evolves over the day. So look forward to using those. Um, some excellent scents here. And we'll see these soon on the channel. It'll be an interesting shave tomorrow. I have not let my facial hair get this long. So it'll be eight days tomorrow morning by the time I shave uh, since I've started wet shaving. So I'm not really sure uh, how well a DE is going to do on this, but we shall see. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon on the channel.